Hello there, everyone. Commander Zeke now lead here, coming at you with my, I think, finalized Are You Afraid of the Dark Age list. Now, as you can see, I've used my uh, strategy that I went over in the previous video. The miserable mountain of metal just got myself a big old pile of very tough heavy mechs. Every single one of them that has ammunition has case two, and mostly we have no XL engines. The only unit with the XL engine is our command mech here, which is the Carinade. Over 200 armor, lots of structure, and its main armament is just two long-range weapons, the Gauss Rifle and the Silver Bullet Gauss Rifle. This here acts like a 15-point uh, LBX cannon, and as you can see, case two in both torsos. Plenty of armor on those arms to protect those uh, very valuable weapons. When you have these kinds of weapons mounted in the arms, it does help to prevent getting them critted because uh, there's so many other things in the arms to crit out. Has uh, three ear medium lasers for a close-in complement. Can fire everything without overheating. So, you know, uh, getting on top of this thing is going to be pretty tough because we've got three other heavy mechs that you're going to have to sort of fight your way past. We have here the Thunderbolt, uh, small X-Pulse lasers. I've given it some frag ammo for the um, LRM-15. Just to give it a little bit of uh, flexibility, you know, if I face some nasty infantry units, has a good long range complement as well as uh, lots of closer range weapons. Medium range complement with the ER medium lasers, real nice. Our um, Battlemaster here is, has the command console. Been using this in uh, a lot of games, precision ammo in all of the uh, light auto cannons. Real, real accurate. This is our shortest range mech. It has probably the least flexibility overall, but it is one of the more deadly ones up close for sure. Standard Partisan, precision ammo for the uh, AC-2s, plenty of uh, auto cannon ammo for the two LB-10s. I mean, this thing tends to get taken out pretty quick, so uh, not too concerned about it. Running out of ammo. Our classic Spider 9M. I've gone over this in previous videos. Love this thing. Uh, real mobile, real deadly and close. Decent armor. This is basically just our mobility unit. This is to uh, chase down those pesky objective proto mechs that we're going to have to find in the one mission. Now the Battlemaster 1GB is um, a real nice unit. It's uh, you know a royal variant. It's got itself two ER PPCs as well as uh, a good close-in complement. No rear-mounted weapons, unlike this Battlemaster, which is fine because it it's going to want to be you know sitting back a little bit more. Has a little bit less armor than the other Battlemaster as well, but has an, a fusion engine, which makes it a little bit more durable. Has enough heat sinks to uh, walk and fire both ERPPCs as well as a medium laser without overheating. And it can fire an ERPPC, all the lasers, and the large pulse without overheating too, too much. Thunderbolt is, uh, well, it's it's the squishiest mech other than the spider. <laughs> But it's um, it's a real real bad boy here. It's uh, you know small X pulse lasers for up close work, uh, great anti infantry weapons, giving it some frag ammo, uh, gives it some flexibility so we can uh, maybe engage some infantry units from far away. You tend to not want to get too close to those things. Uh, LRM fifteen, uh, you know, and an ER large laser for the long range. Real nasty uh, up close weapon complement here. If I was optimizing it, I'd probably just strip out the SRM-2, and if I was, you know, optimizing this thing, I'd probably just strip out the SRM-2 and take a couple more uh, small X-Pulse lasers. But as you can see, we've got long-range weapons on most of our mechs, uh, and the Partisan's sort of more of a mid-range fighter, but it does have those lovely uh, AC-2s for that real long-range firepower, and uh, it's, it's our main uh, anti-air weapon. So, you know, if, if the enemy's got um, some nasty little VTOLs or something like that, you know, we, we can uh, probably blow them out of the sky with this thing pretty pretty well. Uh, so, you know, against um, so against um, close-range brawler lists, we've got these three mechs that can sort of sit back and, and rain fire on the enemy, and then, you know, they're going to come in and try and get to grips with us, but uh, we'll be, you know, peppering them down with, with a bunch of different long-range fire before they can ever get close. And against long-range lists, We've got the armor and structure to be able to march our big tough units, you know, the two Battlemasters and the Thunderbolt, closer to the enemy. Well, the Spider does a flank again, maybe trying to get around behind, and the Partisan, as usual, you know, fights from mid-range. As you can see, we've uh, really prioritized piloting skill instead of uh, gunnery score, and that is because we do not want to be falling down. It's, it's very easy to uh, get knocked down. And when you get knocked down and you're and you're real slow already, it's it's not a great time. It's it's gonna 
deal a lot of damage to your heavy mechs when they get knocked down, and they're not going to be able to uh, close the distance and use those close-range weapons. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I just wanted to quickly go over the um, strategy that I have and the, the units that I think that I'm most likely going to be using. If you have any uh, thoughts, suggestions, anything like that that you want to uh, leave below, please feel free. I would love to hear. Please like and subscribe if you uh, enjoy the content. And if you know anyone else who's uh, looking for any gaming, battle tech content, this kind of stuff, feel free to send them over my way. Thanks again for stopping by. Have a great day.